Building muscle with calisthenics is not that different from weight training in the gym. You have to use compound exercises which train a lot of muscles at the same time and integrate support and isolation exercises for weak points. Variety is also an important point. This means you should integrate different methods, techniques and different training structures to avoid stagnation and make your gains last. Of course you should also take an eye on your nutrition. A calorie surplus is as important as the right protein intake. The last important key point is the rep range. You can build the most muscle in the 6-12 to 12 rep range. But it's still very important to include low as well as high rep ranges from time to time. Both of them have a lot of different benefits like supporting the muscle growth and avoiding stagnation. All these points are not only included in the following workout routine, but also in our body transformation program. Just visit kellymove.com and receive your complete step-by-step -step workout guide. Alright, back to the workout. This workout is a full body routine which trains your whole body in one session. You can do it as a beginner, an intermediate or an advanced athlete. We suggest to do this routine three times a week for one month. The first two exercises of this workout are chin-ups and dips. Both exercises train a lot of different muscles in your upper body, such as your chest, lats, shoulders, triceps, biceps, traps and many other muscles that support and stabilize your body during the movement. Instead of doing just one exercise in strict sets and continue with the next one after that, you alternate those two. This means you start with chin-ups, rest for 2 minutes, continue with dips, rest for 2 minutes again and repeat. In total you continue with this procedure until you reach 4 rounds. When it comes to the rep range, you should aim for about 5 to 10 reps. This means that both exercises should be hard enough that you come really close to failure when you do them for 5 to 10 reps. To make sure this works for everyone out there, you can adapt the exercises to your level. To make the chin ups easier, you can do them with a band and by supporting you with your feet on the ground. If you can do 5 to 10 reps easily, you can do side to side chin ups to make it more challenging. When it comes to dips, you could also use a band to make them easier. If you want to make them harder, you could do Bulgarian ring dips. In comparison to normal ring dips, you use a wider arm placement which makes it a lot harder due to the increased lever. Only do this variation if you already got experience with normal ring dips and a good shoulder mobility and stability. Of course it's also possible to do weighted dips and chin ups to train in the right rep range. But if you want to strictly focus on your body weight, we suggest the variations of chin ups and dips that we mentioned before. After you've done these two exercises, you rest for 2 minutes and continue with a push up cluster set. A push up is a very complex push movement which involves your chest, triceps, shoulders, abs, serratus anterior, and many other supporting muscles. When it comes to the cluster set, you first have to choose a push-up progression with that you can do about 10 to 15 reps. If normal push-ups are too hard to train in this rep range, you can do inclined push-ups. The higher the object on which you do the push-ups, the easier it gets. If normal push-ups on the ground are too easy, you could do side-to-side -side push ups If you know your progression, it's time to start with the cluster set. Here you only do 50% of your max reps. Rest for 30 seconds, do 50% of your max reps again and repeat it 5 times in total. To understand it better, here's an example. Let's say you can do 12 normal push ups on the ground. 
Now you only do 6 reps, rest for 30 seconds, do 6 reps again and repeat it until you reach 5 of those clusters. The goal is to reach muscle fatigue in the 5th cluster. But if you still have enough energy in the last cluster, you can do as many reps as necessary to reach failure. After you've done this cluster set, you rest for about 2 minutes and continue with body rows. A body row is like an inverted push up and mainly targets the backside of your body. Here you heavily work on your lats, rhomboids, traps, biceps, rear delts and other muscles to stabilize your body. As in the push up you also choose a progression between 10 to 15 reps and do 5 clusters with 50% of your max reps with 30 seconds rest. To make sure that you work in the right rep range you could change the angle like you've done it in the push ups. Or you can bend your legs to make it easier. If you have to choose a harder progression, you can do side to side body rows. After you finish this cluster set as well, you rest for about 2 minutes and continue with a hollow body hold and arch up superset. Both exercises are supporting exercises which target muscles of your core like the abs, the traps, rhomboids, rear delts, the erector spinae and also lower body muscles like the quads, glutes and hamstrings. In a superset you do two exercises after each other without rest. So you start with the hollow body hold, do the arch up right after it and rest. Here we suggest a short rest of about 60 to 90 seconds and three supersets in total. When it comes to the progression you should be able to do each of both exercises for 30 to 60 seconds. When you do the hollow body hold, avoid an arched lower back at any costs. The more you extend your body, the harder this exercise gets. But no matter which progression you choose, always take care that you are able to lift your shoulder blades from the ground and that the lower back keeps contact to the ground. When it comes to the arch up, you should tuck your chin and arch your back while pulling your elbow as much backward as possible. Don't release the tension on the lowest point and always contract your muscles during the complete movement. After you've done all three supersets, you rest for about 90 seconds. Then you continue with the next superset which consists of the Bulgarian split squat and the glute bridge raise. Both exercises are lower body movements and focus on your quads, glutes and hamstrings. You start the set with the Bulgarian split squat on your weaker leg and continue with the glute bridge raise on the same side. After that you continue without rest with the Bulgarian split squat and the glute bridge raise on the other leg. After you've done both exercises with both legs, you finished one superset. In total you do 4 supersets with no rest in between. This means you always alternate between both exercises for the left and right leg and finish after you have done 4 supersets for the left and 4 supersets for the right leg. When it comes to the Bulgarian split squat, you can either aim for an upright torso to focus more on the quads or lean yourself a little bit forward to shift the focus more onto your glutes and hamstrings. Always take care to maintain the knee stability over the full range of motion. When it comes to the glute bridge raise, you can try different leg positions. 
The more you extend your leg, the harder this exercise gets. For both exercises you should aim for a 10 to 15 rep range. Alright guys, this was the complete routine. As you already noticed, this video is a collaboration with Daniel Wadner from Fitness FAQs. We've done another video with him, so if you want to know how a perfect calisthenics workout for strength, size and skills should look like, just visit his channel. If you want to focus on building muscle in the first place, we suggest you our body transformation program. The program is designed as a step-by-step -step online course that comes in three levels and can be done by everyone. Every level has different phases with different exercises, methods and techniques. So you get a complex training guide built on scientific research and a lot of variety. Of course we also offer other programs. So no matter if your main goal is strength, mobility, skills or size, we got the right solution for you. Just visit kellymove.com and choose your desired program. If you have further questions, just leave a comment. Thanks, Alex.